This past winter in my household, we slogged through one case of pneumonia, mine, and two cases of strep throat, my kids. Shortly after the strep throat, my daughter and I read Little Women together, and we cried when Beth dies of scarlet fever, which is a form of strep. My daughter asked, could that happen to us? And I was able to reassure her that no one in our family was ever going to die of scarlet fever. And I was able to say that because of my assurance that antibiotics, when used judiciously, work. They work to fight human infections. As a mother, I need to know that antibiotics are going to continue to work when I need them to. But the routine use of antibiotics in livestock operations and dairy farms are one of the driving forces for the emergence of antibiotic-resistant diseases. That's one of the reasons I choose to buy organic dairy products for my family. To do otherwise would be like voting against my own interests. My son asked me recently, where does the wind come from, Mama? It was one of those classic moments of parenting. And suddenly, I recalled another conversation I had recently about the wind. A reporter asked me to comment on the new study showing that the wind in Illinois now contains so much pesticide that it actually causes commercial vineyards to wither. The air itself is so full of poison that it, grapevines die. Every year in the United States, we use a billion pounds of pesticide. Those chemicals don't stay on the fields in which they're sprayed they evaporate and rise into the jet stream, they run into drinking water supplies, they can be found in raindrops, fog, snow, dust particles. In one study, premature births in the United States have been linked to the pulse of farm chemicals moving through the water supply during the spring months of planting. Pesticides by design are poisons. Some of them operate through the principle of a chemical electrocution, meaning that they target the nervous system. Others, such as weed killers, halt photosynthesis. Now, we human beings don't photosynthesize, but when those chemicals get inside our body, they can disrupt the circuit of hormonal messages that fly back and forth between our brain and our reproductive organs. But here's the good news. The best science shows us that most organic food is free from chemical pesticides. And when kids on conventional diets were switched to organic diets, the pesticides in their urine disappeared within two days. Organic food does cost more. Organic food is more strictly regulated, it requires more labor to produce, and it tends to be grown on smaller farms. But the value of organic food is a lot more than just the food that you bring home to the dinner table. The price we pay for conventional food at the cash register is only a small part of the actual cost to society of that food. Buying organic is an investment in public health, in a safe environment, and in safe drinking water. To my way of thinking, it's one of the best values around.